Hi guys and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Uh, you may notice that my ship is different and I'm in another system and I'm in another gateway. That's mainly because in between this video and the previous video, I have been winging with my good friend Sneaky who was in my previous video. And he basically he showed me the ropes of how to uh, earn mucho grande money very very quickly. Which, which explains why I have 400,000, 432,000 credits. So in this video, I... Actually, I honestly I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I guess you could do some. I guess you could do some um, jobs. Because <laughs> I I am still trying to earn money on my way to get to Saul somehow. Pirate hot pirate on pirate action. These pirate clowns are muscling in on our turf, raiding ships. Uh, yeah, let's go blow them out of the sky, shall we? <clears throat> I'm funding a cartel apparently. Oh, oh, this is uncontrolled. So, oh, there's actually there's actually like no federation in here. Okay, so oh yeah, I've got bounties. Yeah, because the the places that I've been going, the uh, resource extraction sites, uh, basically they are frequented very commonly by pirates. Uh, is this is in Zarag, Zarag, Zaragas. Yeah, frequent. Uh, they are frequented a lot by pirates. What that means is you can basically go in there, find a whole bunch of people with bounties, blow them up for blow them up for shits and giggles, and money, lots and lots of money. Select plot route. Okay, it's a two jump. It's a two jump trip. Way easy. Right, let's go. So you may notice that I have a new ship. This ship is called the Adder, and uh, what it lacks in mobility and speed, it makes up for in tanky tanky. I I had a ship before this. The uh, I think it's the Viper, was it? No, no, no. Sorry, the not the Viper. The Eagle, the Eagle, which is really really nippy, really really quick, but like, like it's made of like paper. I also learned quite a few things about how to fly and everything. He's uh, sadly he's not. He won't. Be, he won't be joining me today because he's busy. Uh, it's no. It's, it's not. It's no real issue though. This is mostly a solo series. All right, let's get out of the range of the station. Check our landing gear. Yeah. So this isn't. This this ship isn't exactly a very fast ship. But uh, what it make, but like I said, what it makes up for, what it uh, lacks in speed, it makes up for in uh, tanky t in in a uh, tankiness, because this ship is a lot harder to destroy than uh, uh, the Sidewinder or the Eagle. Yep, I left the no fire zone. I just need to wait to get out of their mass range. I've also got a lot more fuel than I, uh, than than you know what you'd expect. Ooh, here you go. And I've also got a, uh, yeah, my combat rank has gone up to mostly harmless now instead of just harmless. And my trade rank is already mostly penniless instead of penniless because I've made way too much trading. So you earn uh, you earn combat rank by blowing things by flying around, blowing things out of the sky. You earn trade rank by uh, by basically just doing like all the trading missions, buying and selling commodities to uh, stations and whatnot. Uh, explorer rank, I'm guessing you have to like travel further away from far enough away from a system. Oh god, far enough away from a home system to like. Uh, uh, to like sell like your nav your nav info. Frame shift drive uh, for for money, and that will increase your explorer rank. I think either that, yeah, that's probably how you increase your explorer. Because I was never really an explorer anyway. Right to find these pirates, what my friend has told what my friend sneaks has told me is essentially you need to look for signal sources, like the. Uh, the un unidentified signal sources, strong signal sources, or weak signal sources. Y those usually contain like random encounters, uh, pirate ships, freighters, haulers, cargo haulers, uh, like explorers or something. Right. So now I'm just gonna fly around super cruise and ooh, this looks sticky good. If I had an interdi also if I had gone and bought an inter uh, an interdiction module, I would have been able to actually do the do the weird little inter interdiction thing that uh. You have seen me encounter several times throughout the uh, series of my videos. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fly, I'm just gonna fly around, fly around space for a while and look for signal sources. And what these signal sources will get me is essentially, uh, they're like sort of like random encounters, kind of almost. I'm also trying to look for these uh, other blips. Oh my God, that's a planet! Oh wait, no, that's not a planet. That's just a ring. Never mind. We is that a signal source? That was a nav beacon. Yeah, I don't know what nav beacons are for. Someone can tell me in the comments. I really don't know. 
I'm just looking for some signal sources, bro. Oh god, oh wait, no, hold on. I'm getting too close to the sun. <laughs> no, not the sun, the star. Ooh, who are those guys? Your shields are down. No, nope. yeah, you're not alone. You're not who I'm looking for. That's not the ship I'm looking for. Eh? Aha! I found you! All I... Um... Okay... But he's in super... But he's in super cruise right now, so I'm... What's he flying? Is, this an e is that an eagle? Yeah, that's an eagle. Oh, I probably won't be able to catch up to him seeing as how the distance in between me and him is- Oh god! Wait, what, 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 why is it saying slow down? Am I near anything? I don't think I'm near anything. The only thing I don't like about this freaking adder is the freaking ceiling I can't see above me. Where is this guy? Jesus. He's like being chased by secu federal security, I think. I I'm not sure if he's dropping at Zaragas 4 or whatever. Strong signal source. No, no, but I'm chasing him because my mission target's over there. So, contacts. Help a gang take out their rivals. Two of them, apparently. So that's one of them, and I guess the other one is like with him or something. Uh. I'm just gonna scan the Federal Security Service ship. I'm at it. Oh god! Ah! Oops. May or may not have passed them already. Whoopsie daisy. Nope, oh, not turning the wrong way. Yeah, I've been getting quite good at this game. And by quite good, I mean I don't know if I... Oh yeah, this guy's definitely dropping around here somewhere. I don't know where, but I'm waiting for him to drop. He's slowed down so much. Morin Hub. Where are you going, Mr. Agnul? Where are you going? Are you going to Morin Hub? I think he is. Oh yeah, oh oh he's definitely going to Morin Hub. If I can get if I can get to him before I reach he reaches the no fly zone, I can blow him out of the sky. Or space. Or not. Wait, no, that's the Federal Security Service ship. What the fuck? Wait, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Now that I am without you, I am desolate. A funeral ship? Really? I can't see you because you're above me and I'm being blocked by the British freaking ceiling. Where are you going, Mr. Ognul? I knew I should have bought that freaking interdiction module. I could, just, I could just pull him out of the sky that way. Pulled him out of the space that way, rather. That's a sidewinder, Jan Macer. Scout Social Zaragas Independence. Type 9 Heavy. Oh, that's a funeral ship. I just need to follow this asshole. Where are you going? Jesus. I don't know where you're going. Ah, fuck it. Sorry, dude. You're gonna have to tell someone else to do your dirty work for you. Oh, there's a... There is a... There is a signal source around here somewhere. Oh, it's right behind me. There it is. Let's check out the signal source, shall we, since I'm not doing anything. <laughs> This game is mostly about exploration and blowing stuff up anyway. So, it's not like I have one of those two areas covered, right? 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 <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> Let's see, uh... Oh yeah, I also, I also managed to get some new weapons. So I've got these two pulse lasers. These are good. These are tiny ones uh, that I use for taking down shields. And I've got this multi-cannon, which I use for taking down big... Taking on the armor and stuff. So essentially, I've got two lasers and a chain gun. Peace for the dead, peace for the dead. Yeah, I know, we've got a funeral. There's a funeral ship running around here somewhere. 
it's nice. It's nice a little bit of like uh, immersion that there that there are actually like ships dedicated to funerals and things. There are also like wedding ships. I actually bumped into one recently uh, in the previous session, um, in between this video and the previous one. Oh, just lost the contact. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a cold. It's it's it's, it's in the morning. I hate. <clears throat> And I'm the sort of person that get, kind of gets colds in the morning. I'm just gonna accelerate a little bit. Just to get myself closer. Oh, here we go. And hello! Random encounters, go! Okay, so there's two dudes here. Two dudes. Oh my god, that's a lot of them. Holy shit, that's a lot of them. If y'all are wanted... No, that's an anaconda. That anaconda... Okay, okay. So, the thing I heard about the anacondas is that the anacondas are like the biggest... It's like... Are like... Like the, the strongest freaking ships out there. Yeah. Oh no, these guys are clean. My god, this is an escort. Jesus. Wow. Saragas Energy Corp. Yeah. Oh, and this is the and they're they're going with the Federal Navy, huh? Oh, that's pretty cool. See, this, these are the sort of things that you stumble upon every day. This is sort of cool. It's like this little escort mission out in deep space. Okay, so it. Oh, excuse me. Uh, let's 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 let's. Should we go back to the previous system for a lo for a resource extraction site, or let's. Uh, uh, actually, no, no, there is a resource extraction site, like, right here, so... Block destination, it's, like, over there, somewhere. Away from these guys, so... Bye, guys! It's nice meeting you! What do you mean, destructive mass? Oh, it's, I don't, don't tell me it's those other ships that were near me. Well, well, this is, this charge is gonna take a while. If I'm gonna have to move away from those, move, move away from those other guys. <laughs> Let it, give it some time, give it, give it some time, just give it a little bit of time. Slowly, slowly but surely, oh there we go, there goes, there, there, there ends the mass lock. And uh, oh, yep, there we go. This thing right here. It's low intensity though, so I'm not expecting much from this. I shouldn't let's not let's not miss that. This is the strong signal source. Just the ways away from this extraction site. It's no big deal. So the things you can find in extraction sites not only not only from pirates, you usually find like um, federal ships that are hunt federal like security ships that are also hunting for pirates and miners who will be the only people in the whole in the whole like area. Uh, shooting lasers at rocks. <laughs> Everyone else would be shooting lasers at other people. And the miners usually tend to avoid conflicts wherever they can. Oh. Yeah, yeah, my thing is trying to slow me down like mucho grande much. Yep, 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 yep. Slowing down, slowing the way the crap down. That is gonna be a tricky one. Oh, I almost missed it. Okay, who's here? All I need to do, all I'm looking for is if they shoot lasers, I'm kill them. Oh, these are federal navy ships. Okay, never mind. These are these are navy ships. No big deal. I'm just gonna head. All, I'm just gonna head back to that resource extraction site. And I'm guessing the reason why there is uh, disruptive mass is because is because of those t heavy ships. <laughs> so I need to get out of their way before I can charge up this thing proper. Gonna, this is gonna be a short jump, considering that it's like a, a light second away. Just give it some time. Give it a little bit of time. I've got loads and loads Four, of fuel three, to wait. I've got more than enough one, fuel to waste. Engage. There we go. Right. Just trying to maintain uh, maintain myself at a nice slow speed because we're like real, we're like really, really close. So these rings, these nice little concentric rings that you can see here, these are like 
you know, like uh, like Saturn in our solar system. And if you go close to them, they're actually made of rocks, not made of not not made of light, like like what you would believe here. It's just like they're like trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions of rocks to make up one ring, which is why they out here in space, in the depths of space, they look like solid rings and not like asteroid belts. It's it's, it's cool learning about learning about science and space this way. Although I, any people that know space, Neil deGrasse Tyson, if you're watching this video, please I, uh, please forgive me. Uh, getting close, getting close. This is nothing. Yeah, this ship is like, <laughs> it's a two-seater. Uh, every time I look at him, I expect to see like a dude sitting there like, Hi. <laughs> like an inflatable autopilot. Anyone who's ever seen the every, ever, uh, bleh, anyone who's ever seen the movie Airplane should know what I'm talking about. We need to find someone that can pilot this plane and who hasn't eaten the fish. Ah, airplane intensifies. <laughs> one of the, it's one of the funniest movie, one of the funniest movies ever. Destination lock and disengage. See, what did, see what did I tell you? Asteroid belt. These rings are made of rocks. Okay, so now as you're approaching the extraction site. Uh, what we should be looking out for are lasers being fired in the dis in the distance. Either if they're fired if they're being fired at rocks, then well they're miners, no big deal. But if they're being fired at other people, or if they're being fired at nothing in particular, then that means you've got pirates on our hands. And usually, pir with pirates, that means federal ships or vice versa. Uh, so yeah, pretty pretty much. Once we get closer, we can see if there are anybody here worth worth mentioning slash killing. With the low intensity ones, the, th those are the ones with the low skill level. So, like, you'll be encountering a lot of uh, smaller ships. Probably encountering a lot of smaller ships here. Sidewinders, either eagles, maybe an occasional adder or two. Ooh, what's that over there? That actually looks like a mining laser. Because look how he's firing it into a rock. If someone were firing back at him, however. Right, I can tag you. Who are you? Yeah, you're mining. You're a miner. Boop, 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 boop. Yep, he's in a wing. He's in a wing. Where the re where's the rest of his wing? Where is the rest of his wing? Yeah. Okay, so there's like two more signal sources. It's like this way? Question mark. Oh no, they're below me. Like that way. Cause I don't know what the wibbly I don't know what those wibbly wobbly ones are. But I am in here looking for people with a bounty. You see how he's uh. See how he's actually shooting, shooting uh, uh, his lasers at that rock. It's actually, so it's actually pretty cool how they do the mining in this one. It's, it's, actually, it's actually quite neat. Okay, so another thing he taught me is that see that blue zone. Uh, I'm guessing this is. I'm guessing you're part of his wing. Yep, you're part of that guy's wing. Okay, just check. Another cobra here. I'm willing to bet you're part of that guy's wing as well. Yep. I was right. Not a lot of pirates here here, here right now. Type 9 heavy. Obvious. Scanny, 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 scanny. Yep, clean. Thou art clean. Which means I don't have to shoot you in the face. Whoa, Nelly. Deej. Hey, you take my name, you asshole. Yep. Oh, that federal the federal ship is going somewhere. Yeah. Viper. Federal security service ship. He's in a wing with those guys, I think. Might be just escorting them or something. Oh, oh yeah, you're that miner. Sorry, Gustav. Yeah, there are not, not a lot of pirates here, actually. A whole load of everyone else, just not a lot of pirates. Do I have any contacts here that I have not scanned? Okay, so this, where's this guy? Oh, there he is. Severin. Wanted. Oh, ha!
And here I'll show you what these weapons can do. Hey, dude! I'm looking for your head. These are, these are what extract, ex, resource extraction sites are about. Pirates. Loads of them. I'm just gonna stick a bit more power in my weapon so that they overheat slower. Rawr. Take those shields down! I'm gonna crash into him! Whoa! Oh god, there's two of them, yeah. Yeah, he's in the wing, so. That means his friend is around here somewhere. There he is. Oh god, my shields are offline. Not as much damage as you're taking. Come on, you ape. My ship can take a beating unlike yours. Okay. I think it's not him that I'm more him that's being a, I'm being attacked by. It's his friend, like that's like right behind me. But I want to kill this guy. I killed this guy so bad. I might just die actually. I'm gonna pull up if I don't pull off the attack. Okay, okay, I'm switching targets. Oh god. Oh no, I'm dead. <laughs> Again. Where was this guy? Oh, there he is. There, flying past my wreckage. Yeah, it's his, his friend was like right behind me trying to kill me. And he succeeded, of course. Uh, rebuy. That's not all that expensive. So as you can see here, I'm absolutely horrible as compared to my other friend who kicks ass. He's been playing this game longer than I have, apparently. Uh, not Well, not apparently has been yes it is it is statistically proven that yes he has been playing this game a lot more than i have actually i might just look for another replacement for my weapon that's on my weapons on the top of my top of my ship uh reload yes because this is a medium hard point and this uh this particular uh station is in another bit of town so a bit of systems, so I'm guessing I can probably get an upgrade on this. Gimbal, I'm looking for a gimbal weapon. Eh. Eh. <laughs> this is like the best. This is like the best multi cannon there is. Uh. Uh. What was I gonna get? I don't think I want anything. So, blur. <laughs> Let's just check out the bulletin board and see what's up. Maybe we'll run into some pirates that aren't so hard to kill. Couriers require Zaragas. Or I can just donate. Yeah, of course, I can donate 5,000 credits. It's no big deal. I can just help them haul some cargo as well. Uh, donate. Yay, that's it. Done. <laughs> Yay. Reactive armor. The Gizenko ring must be true, which is in order for consignment reactive armor to security services, transport this cargo system in the LTT 7453 system. If you wouldn't want to see this kind of thing spread, it's bad for business. We will be holding your credit payments. 11,000 credits. Eh. Want to launch, please? Because I know there are ex resource extraction sites around here. I just want to go there, shoot some things, kill some things. Hopefully, by doing it alone, I won't. And hopefully by doing it alone means I have uh, What's it? I am I'll be, I'll be Doing this alone means I'll probably be more sucky at this considering that my uh, my friend I think he's flying a I think he's flying a Cobra is, is it one of the one of the what's it one of the higher-end ships ones that cost like a, a couple hundred thousand credits because the way I've been earning credits with him is that I've been fighting bounties. Yeah, I've been uh, going to resource extraction sites and fighting bounties over and over and over again. So like in a single day, like the other time last week when I did that, when I did a session with him after I finished the uh, last week's video, I managed to get like. Whoa! Hold on! What the hell? Frameship charge detected. Target 
Hey! The oh, fuck are you doing? Let me tell you, leave their little. He's wanted. Oh. God. They're flying just outside their their uh, no fly zone, and he's being he's being viciously bombed and attacked by literally everyone in the zone. Right, let's just kill this guy and put him out of his misery before anything else happens. Sorry, dude, you attacked someone outside the station, you need to die. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Oh, that was a nice hefty. That was a nice hefty bounty. Right. <laughs> okay, I have nowhere to go now, so I'm just gonna. Oops. Forgot about that. I don't know why it doesn't let you uh, not go, go to Super Cruise with. Uh, whoops. Uh, Four, three, two, one. He's gonna head away from the station. So I can find. So my friend told me that there are some resource extraction sites in this uh, this particular system. I just don't know where they are. All right, let's turn around. Let's get those other. Let's, let's, uh, blah, blah, blah. let's get those other things in my view. View military strike. Oh, I'm guessing if he said that the. Oh God, I'm guessing that's the plan. I'm near. Oh God, yep, that's the plan, and I'm here. I'm just gonna head to. I'm just gonna slowly head to each. Uh, I was wondering, like, why is the distance not decreasing? <laughs> there we go. High metal content planet. So uh, what I'm looking for are not these, but I'm looking for I'm looking for resource extraction sites, which are not at that planet. Uh, yeah, that's a strong signal source here. So what are you? Uh, let's ex let's investigate. So what are you? If I if I get blown up, if I get blown up again, then it's my own damn fault for being such a horrible fucking pilot. Oh, bye bye. We could quick wheel around. I think it might be still it might still be there. Just a little more. Just a little more. I'm already in the designated speed. I just need to be in the designated distance. Yeah. Don't tell me to slow down. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, there's something here. There's something here. It's a, it's, a, it's a bit of cargo, I think. What are you? I, AI relics. Illegal in jurisdiction. Oh. Shit. Okay. You have I have no chance now? Yeah, probably. If they if they deploy their hard points in. Oh god, yep, they're deploying hard points. Yep. Deploying hard points. Not really deploying hard points, but like. They're trying to kill me. What are you anyway? What are you? Ow! Ah! Uh, these are anacondas. This is like this is an ambush. Okay, that was my own That was my own damn fault. Yep, my own damn fault. Friggin' pirates! Ugh, there's another 8,000 credits wasted. Anyway, ugh. A whole, a whole look good lot of nothing done today. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna check the Starport services to see if they have a better ship. Because I have a couple, because I've got a, quite a bit of money on me. And if I can migrate to a better ship with all the while uh, with my uh, loadouts. Uh, adder, that's the one I have, the Adder. I have 4,000 credits, so I can potentially upgrade to the Viper or the Cobra Mark III. But the Cobra Mark III is like expensive. This thing has more shields, but it has less armor, so you can see this. And it has less cargo capacity. Uh, the, FS the FSD, uh, the, the frame shift drive is a bit low, the, uh, it's a bit weaker. It has less maneuverability, but it's faster and it boosts faster. So basically this thing is more like a, like a, how you say, like a fighter. Less than a, uh, 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 an 
an, an, an exploration ship like the Adder. See, it's a utility vessel, pretty much. Asp, Vulture, Type 7 Transporter, Federal Dropship, Ooh. Orca, Anaconda. Yep, see, these things cost 146 million credits. It's like the, it's like the best ship, one of the best ships money can buy. So, I have a couple hundred thousand credits, so I, I think I might just buy the Viper. Uh, uh, by selling my current ship, I will do that and I will only lose uh, 2,000 credits. Yeah. So if I'm not wrong, I will only lose, stand to lose 2,000 credits from this exchange, which will leave me with 411, or was it 11, 415,000 credits. Emergency oxygen replenished. I've got a new ship. Yep, that 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 didn't actually take down my uh, my my money very much. Less fuel though, as you can see from that. Uh. Oh, nice! Two medium hard points. Awesome. Uh, I would like a bigger fuel tank. Oh wow. Okay, you have a smaller fuel tank. I was wrong. Uh, frame shift drive. I need to upgrade you so that I can make bigger jumps. Uh, yeah, I'll get you. Yes, please. Uh, I'm going to need a bigger power plant because I am reaching my maximum power cap. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Uh, eight megawatts. Yeah, but see, the thing is, I'll be installing two more hard points on this. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll need a bigger power plant. Ah! Oh, these are expensive. Uh, let's 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 get this one. Is this one? Th this is pretty much like the everything, everything that I could possibly want. So three hundred fifty thousand credits. All right, we've got ten megawatts worth of power to spare. And now, wait, are these the bottom ones? Yeah, these are the bottom ones. So these are the medium hard points. Let's see what I can put in these small ones. Something gimbal, something cheap. Large caliber projectile weapon with uh, gimbaled mount signature tracking assist. Hmm. Uh, no. Want the multi cannon? 8.5 per second. Hammer clip size 5. See, these are cannons. It's like. Burn, burn, burn. So the multi cannon is like. Brrr. I really don't know. But I do know that I want to switch these for some switch these for some gimbal lasers. <laughs> it's like I like how this one, the fixed one. Oh, it's, oh yeah, he told me that the the gimbaled ones they have less damage and less damage per second. But the the homing thing makes it a bit better for if you're horrible at aiming things. I'm gonna see if there is a laser here that can do both. Uh, like this one. It's gonna be hell on my hell on my money. So I'm gonna I'm gonna place the other laser on top of my ship with that one. Oh, or is it? It's a class F pulsar. So there it is. It's the reason why I upgraded my power plant so I can have more of that to spare. Uh, and I'm probably gonna put in two multi cannons this time, and not one. If we can find a gimbaled multi cannon, oh, there you go. Yeah, give me this. Give me that. Okay, so now my ship is like mucho grande upgraded. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it's it needs to be in a fire group, so I'm gonna have to get out of here. So. Uh, the, re what, the reason why it said that it has to be in a fire group, so you can see here, like, these two pulse lasers, they're under the fire group 1, and fire group 1 is essentially my left mouse button. So I can set my multi cannons to, oops, fire group 2, which is my right mouse button. So now whenever I press down, uh, press and hold my left, my left mouse button, I'll fire my lasers, and whenever I hold down my right mouse button, I'll fire my guns. Right, that should be good, and let's maybe let's look for another mission that I can do to earn back some of the money I lost. Well, not lost, but you know what I mean. So the Viper is much more. I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm guessing it's a bit more agile. What the hell. Nah. Screw that. 
Uh, I got nothing much done today except I got a new ship and got some new weapons. Hmm. Oh, I have it. Oh, ah! I thought it was an open canopy, freaking open, almost open canopy ship. Oh well. Ugh. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I promise I'll get more done in the next video. I promise. I promise. I swear on my ship. Uh, if you liked the video, leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. I died so many times. Please don't criticize me. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more gaming videos, and I will see you guys in my next video.